Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. Today we're going to be doing the history and evolution of the Honda CBR. So let's get into this one. And uh, as with the other history and evolution events that we have done, I may be having to change the difficulty on some of the events because, um, because of the way that the whole thing's structured and the fact that the AI are on quicker bikes and stuff like that. So if you do see that the uh, the difficulty has been changed, that is why. But uh, let's get on to the first one at the Northwest 200. Okay, so yeah, I had to turn this one down. I've tried it, but when we get onto the straights, they just blast past because some of them are on much quicker bikes. So it's been a pain in the ass, but hopefully we can do it this time. And uh, yeah, this bike feels not that great if I'm honest that was uh, almost a big crash straight away on the outside of a lot of them that is one of the, the problem bikes ahead that are prettier we are past which is good however when we get to that straight that prettier is going to uh, close us down so I need to try and just make as much of a lead as possible. I mean, he's already starting to close down now. Into the roundabout we go. So, yeah, we pulled out a little bit of a lead there. I am expecting that to start coming down quite rapidly when uh, we start picking up a bit of speed. But yeah, obviously, it's a completely stock Honda. So, not good. The handling's not great because of the stock road tyres. He is really closing in on us. Look, that gap is pretty much gone now. Although we've just re-extended, going through that corner. But it's going to start coming down again soon. But yeah, this is uh, what has been annoying me with not just this game, but these events. And as you've seen in previous events, I've had to change the difficulty in that because uh, otherwise they're impossible to do. And we don't want that to happen because we want to do this one. Then we've just got the history and evolution of the Ducati Panigale. And then we've just got, basically, we'll unlock the final event in career mode. So. We're still in the lead. A bit surprised, but um, that guy on the Aprilia, instead of trying to go around me, he kind of almost went straight to the back of me, so he slowed down a bit. That gave us a little break. And now I'm going to just try and pull away again. I'm hoping that when we get to the chicanes, we can extend our lead. Of course, we've got three laps to do around here. We've uh, opened up quite a nice lead already. One and a half seconds. That will come down. But then it will open back up again once we go through the first chicane. And the second one as well. You can see that gap is visibly closing on that mini-map. Into the first chicane, trying to break as late as I dare. Not the best of exits. But yeah, we have uh, extended that lead a little bit. Not as much as I was hoping I would. So hopefully we can nail the next chicane and then uh, pull out a little bit, a little bit more. That's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, the, the trouble with the way that these events are kind of being constructed and bugged kind of almost takes the enjoyment completely out of them which uh, isn't ideal at all it would be nice if they could fix it but the trouble is if they do eventually fix it then I would have completed them by the time they've done that because uh, we'll be doing the Ducati one pretty soon so um, yeah we're just gonna have to uh, get on with it unfortunately and um, just try and level the playing field as best we can so 1.8 at the moment. So I think we might actually be alright now because we've built, built up a little bit of a lead. Now we're getting to a slightly twistier section of the track. So no real straights at the moment. We've got a little bit of a uh, fast section coming up. But um, I think we're going to be fine. Just have to just keep pushing, especially on the next lap, just to make sure we build that lead up a bit more. But, I mean, he's just disappeared completely off the mini-map, so we've got quite a nice lead now. It's going to be over two seconds, if not more. And 
kind of just trying to judge where the break marker was. We can go a little, well, quite a bit later on the brakes for uh, that first part of that chicane. I want to know what my lead is, but we're going to find out in a second when we go across the start finish line because we're about to finish lap number one. So that is lap number one done. Our lead, well, what do you reckon? Four seconds? Five? Six. Okay, nearly seven seconds. 6.8. So we don't have to worry now. We've got a big enough lead, even if he does start reeling us in again on the straights, which he will. Um, we we know that we're not going to be threatened at all because uh, we've got a big lead. 8.8 .8 now. It's basically extended two seconds in like a few corners. That's crazy. So all I've got to do is stay on the thing and get to the end and that will be the first event done. So also guys, I just want to say as well, um, like the way that the videos are kind of structured at the moment because I've got so many different series going on. Um, so we've got like four different series going on. Um, I know some people keep asking if I'm, I've stopped doing a certain series. Like I know, I think yesterday someone asked me if I stopped doing right three videos, even though I put two videos up on the same day, like a few days ago. Um, I know I haven't done a career video for a little while, but obviously this is the next career video. Um, but don't worry, I'm not stopping doing any of this series. Uh, I may knock um, Trolls Rising on the head, because looking at the view count from yesterday, it's not really that that good comparing to all the other videos. So it's kind of getting to a point where it's not really worth me uh, doing, doing Trials Rising videos anymore. I mean, I'm still enjoying the game. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I know that some of you are still enjoying the videos as well. And I'm enjoying making them, but the view count just isn't there, unfortunately. So I may be knocking that one on the head altogether. I may do maybe one more video on that um, and then kind of stop and then just concentrate on doing Ride 3. Monster Energy, Supercross 2, and the Davizioso career from, from MotoGP. I know that, obviously, when, when I put this video out, people will probably be, be asking about a Monster Energy Supercross 2, but that will be tomorrow. And then when I put a Monster Energy Supercross 2 video up, people will probably be asking about MotoGP 18, Davizioso career. But, yeah, those three, I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue doing them, so don't worry. Um, it's just I am pretty busy at the moment as well, and I do work full time, so you have to bear that in mind as well. YouTube is not my job, it's a hobby, so I can only do it when I've got spare time to do it. So, you know, if, if I do have to like do overtime at work, then obviously. It does mean less time for recording, but I do my best that I can. And I hope that you guys can appreciate that. Obviously, if YouTube was my full-time job, then I would be doing like multiple videos like every day and that, but I just cannot do that. So please be patient with the series that you want to watch because they will be coming. Um, they might, might not be as regular as you might like, but rest assured they will be here. And I think it kind of gives gives you sort of like something to look forward to as well, rather than just like rushing out and giving you loads of videos on just one series. Um, at least if I space it out a bit, you got something to look forward to, and then more people are more likely to watch them as well. So don't worry, the series are all going to continue. But like I said, I will probably do maybe one more video on Trials Rising, just because, like I said, the, the view count from yesterday is uh, pretty poor in comparison to the rest of the videos that I've done recently. Um, I think the view count on Trials Rising at the moment is less than 400. So when you compare it to the other um, series that I'm doing, which are all over a thousand at least minimum. So um, yeah, I mean, that 
that number will slowly rise for Trials Rising, but I have noticed it is uh, one of the least popular um, series that I'm doing on the channel. So, yeah, the numbers go up very, very slowly, and um, I don't think even the last video got over a thousand views. So, yeah, I think that one is, like I said, is not very popular. Uh, I can appreciate it's not to everyone's tastes. Um, I just thought it was something different to put on the channel. And like I said, I have done Trolls Fusion videos on the channel ages ago, like back in 2014, um, or maybe 15. But um, that was a long time ago. But I appreciate the guys that you guys, obviously, you're not going to like everything that I do. Uh, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different than uh, something different other than the milestone games. So it, it was nice to, to do some Trials Rising. Because like I said, I've, I've always enjoyed the Trials games. I find them a lot of fun. Um, there are some really funny moments with them. They can get very frustrating as well, especially when you get to the extreme tracks. But yeah, so Trials Rising, possibly one more video. And then that will be it for that series. Unless obviously more people start watching them and then I will continue. But um, yeah, I'll pro probably be sticking to Ride 3, uh, MotoGP 18 and Monster Energy Supercross 2. And of course, when it gets to June, 6th of June, MotoGP 19, that will uh, take the, the main stage of the channel. And uh, the, the trouble is I... I've got multiple series going on at the moment and I'm not going to be able to obviously make all of them last until June. Obviously MotoGP 18, that will stop altogether once MotoGP 19 comes out. Um, but obviously I'll be doing career modes on MotoGP 19. Um, we will eventually run out of things to do with Ride 3. We've still got a fair amount of events to do. We've still got all the DLC events to do. That's why I've been saving them and not bothered doing any of them yet. I'm going to save them until... Once we've done the finale, the, the final event in career. I'm not going to do or show you guys every single event in career mode. Because some of them... Like, there's another 600 event to do. But I've already done quite a few videos on the 600 Super Sports. And they're all of the tracks that you've seen me do with the Super Sports. So it seems a bit pointless me doing them again. Um, and there's some others as well that I'm not really that interested in. So I might not do them all together. But yeah, when the, uh, we've done the final, then I will go on to the DLC events and categories and that. Which um, some of them look pretty cool. So looking forward to doing that. And uh, Monster Energy Supercross 2, once I've done career mode in the 450s, and I hopefully won it, although it is very difficult on the uh, in the 450 category, then I will probably stop that. Because um, I think by the time I get to the end of this uh, 450 season, I think I would have probably just about had enough of the game. Um... But yeah, still enjoy, enjoying Ride 3. Um, May GP19, June the 6th. So looking forward to that. And yeah. So still got loads of stuff coming out on the channel for you guys to watch. But like I said, with me having a full-time job as well as trying to do YouTube on the side, then that's absolutely... You know, I, I do the best that I can. And try and do videos as often as I can and sometimes I, I can't do them like every day sometimes like um, I don't know like sometimes when I'm just working like a long day I, I didn't have the time to fit it in which I, I I don't like doing because I like making the videos and like uploading them and I like seeing you guys enjoy them but it's not always doable and obviously I don't want to end up burning myself out so, um, yeah, I think I just rambled pretty much for about two laps of the Northwest 200, but we are about to finish the final lap, and uh, they managed to win this one. I've had a lot of trouble with this one on the higher difficulties, just because of that straight. Um, but we've done it, 
And uh, we can go on to the next event now. That's nine stars for that one. So happy with that. Yeah, one by 22 seconds. Okay. That is that one done. On to the next one now. So the next one is at Brands Hatch. And this is the 1994 RVF 750 RC45. So pretty much... Same bike as we used in the first race. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So this one, I did put the difficulty back up to 120% just because I know that we can make up a lot of time through this first corner alone. Just like that. And we're into the lead. Interesting to see if anyone can come with me. I am just going to have to push for these three laps because... Uh, yeah, this, this bike doesn't feel that quick at all. It doesn't really handle that well either. Especially with these stock tyres. So I'm just going to have to do the best I can. We've got a nice little lead at the moment. Got a little gap. I'm going to keep an eye on that because uh, that may come down. It may not. It may just keep going up. Like it is at the moment. So that's good. The straights on this track aren't that long, so that pretty I won't get its chance to stretch its legs, which is good. Although someone is really closing in. Okay, someone is really close. I think they're on an MV Augusta. So we have been caught. He is on an MV, so tenth of a second. I'm hoping we can kind of pull away a bit around this final corner. I know in previous categories in that we've been able to do that. So we have pulled away a tiny bit, not much. But we are coming up to the first corner again. Which means that we should be able to pull away quite nicely. Yeah, just like that. So we should, in theory, we may get caught at the end of the lap, but by the time we get around to the first corner, we've kind of pulled away again. So we should be fine. 1.4. I think we'll be all right. Just have to keep an eye on it. So it was when we went round this next corner, that's where he started catching us up. So 0.9. Yeah, he's closed that in again. Down the hill. He's not as close as he was last lap. But I can still hear him. Still hear that MV Augusta. And now he's right on me again. He can't get past me through that corner. And he can't get past me through the final corner. So I think we're going to be fine. Unless I make a mistake a bit earlier on in the last lap. And then he might catch and pass me by then. And then when we get to the part where he usually catches me. He might pull away. Hopefully that won't happen. Half a second at the moment. We will extend that through turn one. That gap doesn't look as big as what it was last lap. Gone a bit wide there. Try and get a late apex and fire it out. One and a half seconds. Okay, let's try and get the exit out of here. A little bit wide on the exit that time. Have we messed it up for ourselves? Okay, yeah, he's closing in again. With a little kink. Oh, he's closer. He is a lot closer now. But not close enough to come through yet. That's less than a tenth of a second there. But he didn't come through. Uh, 
Okay, so just a run to the line. Pretty close, but we managed it. Just about. We held off that MV Augusta. And we took the win. So that is two wins at the moment. We are on course with our history and evolution of the Honda CBR. So it would have been, yeah, 0.6 of a second. So pretty close. Okay. That's that one done. Next one, Nürburgring, Nord Schleifer. Honda CBR 900 Fireblade 1995. This is going to be interesting. So here we go. Nürburgring. I've had a couple of attempts and uh, the gearing is a bit off. Um, not really getting... Not really using the sixth gear very often, which is a little bit worrying. Especially down the, uh, the back straight. I, I couldn't even get to sixth gear because fifth gear was too long. And I have to say, this bike handles absolutely horribly. It is a crap handling bike, especially with these stock tyres. Obviously handle better with the slick tyres on, but we can't put them on because it won't allow us in these events. So, yeah, the bike as it is, as stock, it's uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. And uh, it's not very quick either, which is obviously another negative. So we've got to kind of rely on this next corner. And as we go past, yeah, that's the uh, Kawasaki ZX6R that we've just gone past. And uh, on high difficulties, I was having trouble with that. I'm on a 900cc and that's a 600cc. Yeah, this, uh, this bike does not handle very well. So it has been a, a bit annoying trying to do this event. Hopefully we'll get there. Also, the brakes are shite. Stock brakes, they are crap. They're trying to get this bike stopped and turned. Well, probably be better off with a uh, shopping trolley or something because this bike just have to brake so early. I know it's got stock brakes and like everything on this bike is completely stock, but yeah, it just feels absolutely crap. So uh, you may see me running wide quite a lot. You may see me completely missing apexes and that. You may see me crashing, but who knows? Because I uh, got onto the second lap. Because we've only got to do two laps. My last attempt round here. I went on one of the outside curbs. One that sometimes I've I've been on before. But something weird happened and like my bike ended up flipping up in the air. So I think that was like a, a little glitch or something. So I ended up crashing. And because it was right near the end of the final lap. The guy in second came past and there was no way that I was going to be able to catch him. So, um, yeah, had to give it another go. But so frustrating when I was right near the end and something really bizarre happened. So, we had to give it another go. Just got to remember where to brake and that because, yeah, this, this bike, not enjoying this bike at all. So, I'll be happy to get off this one. I'll be happy no, never to use this bike again. If it comes up in any other events, which I'm sure it will, uh, ones that we haven't done yet, then I will be sure to be using a different bike. And steer well clear of this one. Now we've got a decent lead at the moment. I haven't really been taking much notice of this split times. Keep going. Like I said, two laps around here, so not too bad. Actually, I just saw that second place guy on the mini map momentarily, so he is starting to catch us. There he is, he's just appearing now. And 
Yeah, let's just remind you guys that is a 600 behind us and we're on a 900. But yeah, I expect that 600 handles a hell of a lot, hell of a lot better than this bike does because, yeah, not enjoying this bike at all. And in fact, on a previous run I'd done as well, on that uh, really long start finish straight towards the end of the lap, I was passed by that 600 Kawasaki. It was quicker in a straight line. And that's when I started filling with the gear in. I know you can only do the final ratio with uh, stock gearboxes. So I kind of tried altering it a little bit and then decided after the last run that it still needed adjusting a bit. So it's not been plain sailing, that's for sure. But we're doing alright at the moment. We've got a nice lead again because we've gone through a, uh, another corner where the AI go really slow through. So we're all fine. But I'm going to keep an eye, or half an eye, on the mini-map make sure that he doesn't catch us again but um we're getting towards the last quarter of the lap and we've got one whole lap to go we'll see how close he is when we go across the start finish line he's 5.3 behind i'm half expecting that to come down quite considerably when we get out that you know corner before we get onto the long straight. I'm expecting the, the, the gap to come down on the uh, the long straight. But I should be okay. I should be able to get into sixth gear this time. I mean, I could have put it in sixth gear when I was using the other gearing, but I would have ended up going slower than if I was in fifth gear because it wasn't quite topping out in fifth gear. I was kind of struggling to get any higher. So, um, yeah, just putting it in sixth gear would have made me go a little bit slower. So we are in sixth gear now. I'm keeping an eye down on that mini map to see if a little dot appears. We're safe at the moment. I can just about to see him. He's still safe. He might be alright. I think we might be alright. Just gotta remember to break. Bit too wide, bit too late on the brakes, on the grass. Wow, just had a look at that mini map. Look how close he is. Wow. 0.8. Last time I saw a split, it was over 5 seconds. So he's caught us back up. struggling on this bike but because we're in the lead now we should in theory be fine but I don't know we'll have to wait and see it is Nürburgring it is a crap bike so we may end up throwing it at the fence yet just keep going that's all we can do so yeah we will send our lead here thank you very much See you later. Two point eight. Keep it going. But at least after this race, the rest of them aren't as long as this one. I mean, like distance wise and lap time, even. Obviously, we, we know the, the Nurburgring is a long lap. Obviously, nowhere near in, in comparison to the Yarlaman DT course. See, that corner there that we've just gone through, that little left kink. Some other bikes you go through there and the front just folds like really weirdly. But this bike actually goes through there okay. You don't have to come off a throttle at all. 
Um, so I guess that's one bonus towards his bike. Other than that, the rest is just negative. <laughs> but we've got to do it. Because that will enable us to unlock the, the newer uh, fire blade. And then, like I said, we just got to do the history and evolution of the Ducati Penegale. And once we do that, we will unlock the V4. And then we'll also unlock the final event in career mode. So far, so good. So that's something weird happen um, with the Ride 3 game. But... I know it definitely wasn't just me. Basically, some liveries that I had downloaded uh, online, uh, I had a message come up. I've had it come up before as well, but this one was for like three liveries. And I think two of them, maybe all three of them were done by the same person. But yeah, I have a message come up saying that uh, the deliveries that you've downloaded have been deleted. Um, due to them being offensive or something. I was like, but they were like replica liveries. So I didn't get why why they were offensive when they were like replica liveries from MotoGP and World Superbikes and stuff. I just thought that was a bit bizarre. I don't know if some people have been complaining or reporting them or something. Um, but yeah, they, they weren't offensive at all. They were just pretty decent, or really decent, uh, replica liveries that I downloaded. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a shame. And one of them was actually, when I'd done the video of Macau in, in the daytime, um, there was like a, it was a, a Rossi livery on the Yamaha R1. It wasn't like a, a replica of his Yamaha livery or anything like that. It was like a, a Rossi inspired livery of all of his different colours like a, his uh, helmet design from last year on it as well and it was really good and yeah that one got deleted as well so I don't really get what is happening with some of the liveries because like I said it's happened before it happened with a, a Bomota uh, livery that I downloaded and that livery it was black uh, white and red and it had Bomota written on the side. And that was it. And apparently that was offensive. So the, the only other thing I can think of is maybe the the person that created them deleted them. But I would have thought it would have just said that the owner had deleted them. Not, not that they've been deleted for being offensive. But I don't know. That's a completely different topic to uh, what we're doing now. Yeah, I like like those liveries as well, hence why I downloaded them. I don't now download every single livery in the game because obviously some of them are questionable. Um, but the ones that I do download, I download them for a reason because they're really good and I, I want to use them. But it's annoying. It would be annoying if it's like people just getting other people to kind of uh, report them because they don't like that person or they don't like that uh, rider in real life and stuff like that. Um, so that's maybe one thing that maybe they've done. And uh, also not actually looking at the liveries themselves, just seeing a load of uh, people reporting them. So just going, okay, well, we'll delete them all together. But if they actually delve into it and add a look, they would see that they're absolutely fine. But okay just another weird thing with the, the Ride 3 games. So you, you go on like uh, Forza and you see some some liveries that people have made for cars and that and uh, some of them are quite you know quite dodgy and stuff but they never get taken down. Anyway we are near the end of this race Still just about to see him in the distance, but we're absolutely fine. We should be fine. 
Um, I mean, when we have to get on the brakes in a second, that is where he closed us in quite rapidly last time. And I want to make sure we don't actually go on the grass this time, so I had to break a little bit earlier. And we're going to be fine. Still can't even see him on the map. Now I can just about. Doesn't matter. We are done. Two laps of the full Nürburgring. And we're done. Don't want to see or use that bike ever again because that was horrible. So that bike can kindly piss off now. Thank you very much. There we go. ZX6R was in second. Only one by 3.1 seconds. So... Honda Fireblade, CBR 900RR Fireblade, 2002 this time at Macau. This is just a time trial. It's a time trial at Macau, and it's in daytime. I just want to change the gearing, see what it's like, um, make it shorter. Okay, I am ready. Let's do this. See how many laps it takes us to do this. 2 minutes 30.6 is what we have to do it in. I'm hoping this bike handles better than the last Fireblade we used. Actually, it feels a bit better already, has to be said. So 2 minutes 30.6, so let's do this. See what we can do. A bit wide there. The trouble is, I'm not really that good around Macau. Although it is going to be slightly easier because it's going to be easier to see where you're going now. Now that they've done a, a daytime event. So that's good. And I am glad that they actually incorporated the, the daytime um, track into the actual career mode. Which I thought was pretty cool. They didn't have to do that. They could have just put it put it out and been like, yeah, we're not really going to change anything in career. So you have to do them still in the night. But yeah. It is a nice little touch that they uh, decide that we, we can use this track in career. So I'm pleased that uh, the first time I come to it in career in a long time, and it's daytime. Oh, spun up the rear a bit, and a wheelie. But yeah, this, this fire blade definitely feels better, it handles better than the last fire blade. That last one was just horrible. And the brakes are better on this one as well. Oh. It stopped. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we're getting towards the end. We've got that really tight hairpin to try and negotiate. Gonna be interesting. Whoa. Oh. Break a little bit earlier than I normally do. Try and get round. Don't hit the inside barrier. Almost did. Okay. Two corners left to go. How are we doing for time? Two minutes five at the moment. It's going to be quite close, I think. Maybe. I think we may be... I think we're going to do it. We have basically got 10 seconds to get to the stop finish. And it's about to be... There it is. Done. 2 minutes 25.4. So we managed it. So happy with that. Only had to do the one lap as well. So that's a bonus. So the next event with the 2005 Honda CBR 1000 Double R Fireblade. And this one is at Tenerife. Short circuit at Tenerife. Here we go. The worst of the two Tenerife circuits. Well, not that the other one's that good at either. But um, this is definitely the worst of the two. And we are up to third place. And I'll break this guy, and we're up to second. No, he's coming back past. We're on the inside. No, he's going around the outside regardless. Wow, we're back down to fourth. And we're back up to third. Okay, 
The leader is pulling away already. That is a bit worrying. I'm going to have to try and take this, this section as flat out as possible. It's going to be quite tricky. I need to try and get past this guy first. That was good. Tell you what, we're catching him. Get him on the brakes. Not quite close enough, but we really caught him up. He is on a Suzuki GSXR 1000, and we are passed into the lead. Three laps around here. Just going to try and stay here, but... Oh, I don't think that's going to be possible. The trouble we're going to have as well is I'm not very good at the last corner. I've run too wide and hit a bit of dirt, which really halted your momentum. Or I just get a too tight a line and then I hit the dirt on the inside and that obviously halted your momentum. But that was fine actually, that wasn't too bad. But he's still right behind me. Is he going to come past him to turn one? He is not. Can I pull away from that turn one? A little bit. Is he going to get me on the exit of here? No, we should be fine. And we are. But I think, not this next right-hander, but the next one. The AI are usually quicker through it. Oh, he got a good exit through that last one by the looks of that. He's going to come through. I know he is. No, he's not. He's there. Oh, no, there he goes. He's through. And now I'm back through. Now we pulled away a little bit. Got to get ready to get on the brakes. Make sure we don't go too wide. All right, that worked out well. So he just got in front of me when I pretty much didn't want him to. But we're back in the lead by 1.1. Which is uh, a bigger gap than we had last lap round here. Gotta keep it going. Up the hill. One corner left to go, and then we've got one lap left to go. A second, so it's going down about a tenth of a second, which is not much. Another good exit through the final corner. I think we, we may have this one in the bag. Into turn one. 1.1 1 .1 is the gap again. It wasn't the best of exits at the first corner. Doing good. Come on. He is catching. I don't think he's going to be close enough, though. Catching, he's going to come through, he's going to do it exactly the same place as well, he has as well, but we're back ground him. Oh good. I think that may be it. That may be it for his attack. One point two. We've got this one. Got get round here, get up the hill. He is closing a little bit, but I think we're going to be fine. Okay, just run to the line. We're going to do this one. Done. Ah, that was uh. 
That was quite a tough race. Just trying to get past that Suzuki and um, yeah, he kept coming pa back past at the same place. Six stars. Thank you very much. 1.1 we won by. Alright. So, Sugo, penultimate race. 2014. It's 2014 Fireblade. Let's do this. Another one where I've had to alter the difficulty just because uh, the nature of this circuit, the AI really strong around here. And yeah, they're a pain in the ass. I'm going to try my best to try and get near the front if we can. Well, put it this way, we need to. We have to win. So I might have to be a little bit brutal on some of my overtaking. go up to third right can we slipstream second place down this straight Then in third. Can we get past this guy? Shove up the inside into the right. Although, that's worked. We're going to go wide though. He's back through into this chicane up the inside again. He's going to come back underneath. I'm going to be on the inside as we switch to the right. Can we get a better exit? Probably is that has allowed the leader just to edge away slightly. Is he coming back through? He's trying. My controller batteries are low. That's not good. If I lose too much, I'll completely lose feeling with the controller and we won't have a clue what's going on with the front or the rear. We are closing in slightly on the leader. We're pulling away from third place, so we should be fine. Not quite close enough to slipstream. So we might have to do the same again as what we've done to that other guy on the last lap. So through here, try and get a good exit out of the next left. Come on. Oh, we're closing. I think we're too far back to show up the inside. Yeah, we are. Fine, I'll try and get the exit and try and slipstream him down the start finish straight. Well, we've got quite a good exit anyway. There's a little bit of slipstream needed. And pass we go. He's on a beamer. He's on an S1000 double up, but we are passing to the lead. This is the final lap. Oh, he's back underneath. Can we get the exit? He's on the inside for the left, so that's not going to work. Can we get the right through here? The inside. Yep, just trying to squeeze through. He's going to try to go around the outside. It's not going to work. So we've got him before we get to the chicane. Oh, no, he's come around the outside there. This is a good place to get him. BMW is quick. On the brakes. We're on the inside. He's going to go around the outside. Is it going to work for him? No, it's not. That's good. We need to be in front. He's trying to come through again, but not quite. Okay, this is the one. Get a good entrance through here. Get a good line through the chicane. Make sure he can't come through. Make sure he doesn't push me offline either. I always try it. Alright, we may get this. Oh, almost went a bit too wide, so I was a bit hesitant on the throttle there. I think that's fine though. I think we're going to do it. We are. He is closing. 
but there's the line and we are done with the penultimate race of the history and evolution of the Honda CBR. We've got one race left to do and that is at Okayama. Five stars, one left to go. One by less than three tenths of a second. Here we go, the final Honda CBR 1000. Let's do this, Okayama. Here we go. We've got to be patient with this one. We've got to wait for that specific flip-flop point. So through here, we're up to third. That is fine. That's where we need to be. We may lose one or two places around this corner. Actually, scratch out, we won't. But this is the, the place. It goes flat out. We go up to second. But not into the lead. Get the exit. Slipstream as well. I don't think I'll be able to outbreak him into the next hairpin. Close in a bit on the brakes. Try and get the exit if we can. We're on the wrong side for the left though. Well, not the wrong side, but he, he went defensive. Well, this is quite interesting. We'll try and go with the leader. I switch to the inside. No. Okay, we'll stand in second for now. Through the final corner. He's got a better exit than me, so he's going to extend his lead a little bit. We've got a bit of catching up to do. That's for lap one done. We've got two left to go. A wide through turn one. That's fine. It's quite an open corner. Right. And we're going to close right up on him again. We have. Get the exit. Come on. Too wide slide in the rear a little bit as well, even though I do have traction control turned on medium. Not quite getting the drive out. Right, there we go. Is that the one? Oh, no, he's on the inside, so not quite through there. Right, come on. on the inside. Can I switch to the inside now? No, nope, not close enough. Come on. One corner left to go. And we've got one lap. Slipstream. Can we get him into the turn one? We may be able to. No. Nope. Maybe. No. Nope. Okay, didn't work. Well, we are a lot closer this time, so we should be able to get him through the right-left section, or the left-right section even. Can we go left first? Here we go. Into the lead. Thank you very much. There shouldn't be any coming back from that for him, but we never know. It's going to up the rear a bit as well. Point three of the second lead. He could have a go in this corner. But he didn't. He could have a go into this corner of coming up as well. But he didn't. I don't think he's close enough to have a lunge into this one, that's for sure, where they usually kind of cut that corner. No, I think we may have this. Only got a few corners left to go. Alright, come on. Again, through the kink. And into the final corner. That was better as well. We're going to get this one. We are going to finish the history and evolution of the Honda CBR. Done. First place. That was a uh, 
Difficult race, though. We had to fight for that one. But a good race. Enjoyed that. So we go. Honda Passion. We've done it. There we go. Confirmation that we have done it. That is the bike that we have unlocked. Just one more history and evolution to do. And that is the history and evolution of the Ducati Panigale. And uh, that random bloke who I have no idea who he is because it's nothing like our, our rider. He's put our plaque onto the shelf. There we go. That one is done. So let's have a look at our shelf and see all of our plaques because it's just missing the one now. And one more event to unlock that. And that is the Ducati one. So there we go. That is our nice little cabinet at the moment or shelves with our plaques on but anyway guys that is it from me thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more content and i should see you guys in the next video see you